Hey guys, it's me, producer Ross, and welcome to another Monday recap, the show where I run up the weekend's action and look forward to the week ahead. Once again, I'm joined by good old Liam from Crew, and his boys were in town. So let's take a look at what happened against Crew. So Liam, it's back-to-back 1-0 wins for town as they beat Crew at Portman Road. Ollie Hawkins scoring his first goal for the club. Make it all three points for the Blues. Uh, joint top of the league now. Your thoughts, your verdict on the result? Um, well, I mean, there's much to say, really. Um, it was a good result. I think that was the, the only positive we can really take from the game, apart from the fact that we kept a clean sheet. But, I mean, that was, I think, more by luck than design. I think uh, however much you want to dress it up, um, Thomas Holy's very, very good reactionary save was more luck than I think he was actually <laughs> designed to save that. Um, not taking anything away from him, it was a cracking save, but realistically, I think that, that anywhere else uh, beyond him, he had no chance. It's just luck that it's fallen straight at him. And he, he has pulled off a, a proper top save there. Um, but apart from that, I mean, there's no real other positives you can really say from it. It's just one of those games where they got the result and we just move on. I think um, to see Hawkins get a goal and, and open the strikers' account for the season, um, three points, we'll take it. Um, but it is a little bit worrying how outplayed they were uh, during the game. And that the fact that they they really you could not tell who was the team who'd just been promoted from League Two, um, and who is gunning to try and get out of this league into the Championship. So, a bit worrying from that, but it, it is what it is. You're going to have games like that. Three points in the bag. Move on. So yes, let's move on to the week ahead. It's another two-game week for Town, a league fixture. And the start of the FA Cup, a first round tie. Uh, but yes, Tuesday night, Town travel to Sunderland. This will be a very big test. Now, Sunderland currently sits sixth in the table after nine games played. Five wins, three draws and only one defeat. So they're doing very well. That one defeat came at the hands of Portsmouth, who Town do take on in the FA Cup first round. A very disappointing tie for the first round of the League Cup. Second year in a row, we have the same opposition in the FA Cup. Oh, boring. But anyway, Liam, how are you feeling going into this week and your thoughts on the Sunderland game, your prediction as well, and also the boring tie against Portsmouth? Well, I just um, obviously talked about crew and how it was uh, just three points, let's move on. Not really a lot to say other than we got battered and, and we got away with it. Um, ironically, I would absolutely take that on tomorrow night. Um, and I think it's just the fact that we should expect to beat Crew, maybe, maybe beating them only one nil and being out outclassed is is a bit worrying. But to be outclassed but win one nil away at Sunderland would be an absolute outstanding result. Um, and uh, frankly, I would I would bite your arm off for that. This is the game. Um, I think this is the key marker. Um, Lincoln are top of the table, but we're fairly average. And I think if they'd been a bit better, um, then they would have um, been able to, um, I, I suppose... Uh, at least get a draw out of that game. That they, they were no worse than what Lincoln were. Rob, uh, um, not Rotherham, um, Doncaster, I think are going to be there and thereabouts, maybe playoffs, mid-table ish. Don't think though they're, they're the real benchmark. Sunderland are. This is the real benchmark. And if Town can get a result tomorrow night, which what we all keep talking about, but. They won't. Then uh, after last season where they didn't get us pretty much a single result um, against any of the big big teams in the league, which 
was why we ended up where we did, then this would be a real fillet in the team's cap this season if they can do it and start putting the, just the little niggling doubts that are starting to swell to bed to get a result like that. And I don't see why not. Um, no crowd at the Stadium of Lights, so they won't have that to push them on. Um, and, I mean, Sunderland are not... I don't think they're the be-all and end-all that everyone thinks they are. And I think Town have got a real opportunity, potentially, to get something out of the game. Um, it is the benchmark. Uh, and I'm just hoping, I, I said in the podcast uh, on Thursday, 1-0, uh, and I'm sticking by that. I think could grind out a 1-0, um, and I, I would love to see it. Um, although I think maybe the best result Town might get is a draw out of it. But I'm hoping that my my heart <laughs> is ruling my head on this one and that it is a 1-0. As for Portsmouth in the FA Cup, well, it's a another gunk draw um, against another League One side when we have plenty of exciting non-league ties we could have ended up with Um, but it is what it is Um, depending on it's an interesting psychologically though because depending on the teams that are put out, if both teams put out reserve sides and they're not bothered at all then for me it's just a non-entity if town get through then fine if they don't, nothing lost. Yeah. If they both go fairly strong, then it will be quite interesting because it will give each other, it's the first time each other have faced each other um, and it will give each other a little marker when they do face each other in the league, which is more important about what each team are about. Um, and it could, psychologically, if Town got a win, with their first team against a Portsmouth first team in the Cup, it could mean that that might give them a slight upper hand in the league game. Um, So it might be interesting from that point of view, but it really solely depends on how seriously both teams are taking. And if they don't, then it's a a nothing game, really, just an, an, an FA Cup match that, well... If they get through, they get through. But, I mean, even this season, if Town make a good cup run and get a decent tie, if they got to the third round, we're not going to be able to go. So it's kind of like a waste of time this season. Um, Although I love the FA Cup, but that's the state of play, really. Town aren't going to win it. And the amount of games, they don't need that. Don't need any more on top of that. Um, So, for me... Um, it would not bother me, a bit like the Elf Trophy and the League Cup, if uh, they they didn't uh, get a run this season. Cool. So there you have it. So let's see what the Blues do this week. Can they get wins over Sunderland and Portsmouth? But yes, anyway, um, Liam, thank you very much for joining me once again on the Monday Recap. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to get involved. Give me your predictions for the Sunderland game and the Portsmouth game as well. I've been Producer Ross, and I'll catch you in the next video.